wifey, please let me touch the, I'm a good person. So a lot of people I meet today, I see that these people have great professional experience, they have lots of years of experience, probably they have a great house, but one thing that is missing in them is they are very, very needy all the time. You know, they are always needy, so they, they can't build that attraction. So when they come to the office, they need everybody's approval. When they get back home, they need the love. There's a difference between want and need. See, want is desire, need ah, repels people. It distracts people, it takes people away from you. So, when I see these people, I, I understand that they are constantly looking for that approval. Hey, I bought a new car, please like me, please like my photo. I mean, every single time I go on Facebook, for example, I see a lot of people messaging me. Hey, please like my photo, you know, girls especially, like my photos and sometimes the guys, hey, can I come? Share the stage with you, Mr. Bishal, I'm a big fan. Can I please come and share the stage with you? Can you give me an opportunity? Can you give me to see that's begging? That's not request. That's begging. So I see today a lot of professionals with 10, 15 years of experience, they are still begging in their life. Hey, my son, please respect me. I'm a good person. Wifey, please let me touch. I'm a good person. Uh, boss, please talk to me nicely. I'm a good person. See, that's begging. And leaders don't beg. Leaders attract. So one thing I want you to do is, I want you to stop needing. I want you to stop begging for things that you want in your life. I want you to go demand and earn them for yourself. I'm sure you're a good person. I'm sure you're an honest individual. I'm very sure that you really have worked hard to be where you are in your life right now. But if you see some areas in your life, whether it's health, relationships, finances, professional life, social connections where you need people's attention. I hope they like me, hope they respect me, hope they do this, hope they do this. If you do that, it's time to stop needing, it's time to stop begging and it's time for you to actually become the attractive leader, not the leader who begs. That's my tip for you right now and I look forward to sharing some tips and advanced tools in the upcoming the Confidence Speaker Conference uh, where I show you step by step how to overcome all your fears, especially the fear of communication, stage fear, presentation fear, and how to become a powerful, effective, and confident speaker. So you can, whether you are going for a party, whether you are giving a presentation in your office, or whether you're speaking to a senior manager, or whether you're connecting with a client or a stranger, or a family person, how do you become that natural communicator? I'm gonna show all of that to you in a transformational manner, however, Seats are all full right now, so maybe next year you can come, but you can call one of our team members and book a spot for yourself for next year, and we can see how you can be a part of it. Bishal Sarkar here, always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection, it's all about connection.